Hi guys, this is Asal. I'm studying for the bar and I wanted to review my notes with you. So today I'm actually studying legal writing and I pulled out all my notes and I realized that it's very important and I wanted to start off by making a video out of the law school formula so that you can start applying this formula to everything else I talk about. So what is this law school formula that I'm talking about and why is it so important? First of all, I'm going to tell you why this is so important. It is very important because it's like an ingredient. It's like a recipe that you must follow and apply it in every, every case, everything you brief, because that's how professors think. And on the bar exam, that's how they want you to write. And when you get a job at the law office, that's how your boss wants you to write. Iraq. So what is this IRAC that I'm talking about? Why is it so important? So this IRAC that I'm talking about, it's basically the first thing is the issue, okay? I stands for issue, R stands for rule, A stands for analysis, explanation, application, and C stands for conclusion, okay? This is basically a method of legal organization. So keep in mind, you wanna apply this everywhere. So, what is an issue? An issue is a discrete legal issue involved in a particular analysis. The issue is often a question or a conclusion. For example, I love to write my issues in a form of whether, I don't know why, I'm very comfortable with that word. So, when I see an issue, I like write it down, whether this happened, whether that happened. So, that is the issue. The next thing uh, I want to talk about is the legal rule. The legal rule is basically the governing rule in that jurisdiction. That's all there is to it. The governing rule in that jurisdiction. For example, let's say negligence. When you want to write about negligence, you write the issue. The issue is negligence. What you want to do next, you want to write the rule on negligence and describe, okay, what is the rule on that? And then the next thing you want to do is you want to analyze everything on there. And then you move on and then you write the conclusion. That's how you do it. So the, the best way to explain the rule is you use examples of the past cases where the courts have applied the rules in that context and the conclusion is basically the most is like the simplest thing is so easy to write all you do is a summation that basically determines what already happened okay so i'm going to conclude with my conclusion i really hope you have fun studying enjoy